Somebody coming towards me, there was a man, tall man with the beard on, and he was like, he had a blonde hair, and he called my name, and I just felt safe. Good. Do you remember what name he called you? I don't remember now. Oh, you see, he called your name, and I was on a one to one session, and I got you to tell me what he called you, you see, so I got your name for, you for doing that. Okay? Uh, I can take just one more to my. Um, um, my name was Maisie Crompton. I was in Aylesbury at the side of a river and I was looking up to ducks and I had a blue gingham dress on and there were some friends around playing with me but I didn't get any more. Right. So my job was to look after these ducks. That was a brief duck. Yeah. Anybody else? I was uh, going to my engagement party. She just went straight in there, she'd been stabbed with a sword and she was in a lot of pain. How do you feel now? So you don't have any pain in your tummy or anything like that? Yeah? Are your hands warm again now? Yeah, yeah they were really cold. They were, yeah, because when you've been injured, the, you know, your body takes blood from your arms and your legs to protect this bit here. Okay? <coughs> so she was experiencing that. Now you know why I won't take you to your death. Imagine if you were being burnt alive. What would you smell? So all your senses become alert. Mm -hmm. What would you feel? Do you know what I mean? That's why I don't do it. So obviously I had to go straight to her and protect her and get her out of that situation. That's why I stopped hers there. Yeah? Uh, now obviously in a clinical environment, that I would have picked up that a lot sooner and we, we would have stopped that before she even got to be injured there, you know? Alright? So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I'm going to finish now. Because it's, it's surprising how quickly the time goes, isn't it? Yeah? So I hope you've learned something tonight. Something about. It knows just what it is. Right. Yeah. Looking, looking through a window at the lady of the house. She was picking flowers with this beautiful basket, yeah. And I was washing out with her. Right. And I was always in the kitchen, always working. Being sent there by my family. Mm. Mm. So on a one-to-one -one basis, when your arms started to go, I would, say, I would have talked to you then and said, you know, can you tell me why your arm's lifting? Are you aware of your arm being raising up in the air? That's happened to me a lot, though. And sometimes can... people do that. It's like a floating sensation, mm. you know, and if you're floating, your arms do raise, don't they? Mm. So sometimes they use that as a, a convention on stage. You get to put your hands out like this, and one hand is heavy, the other hand yeah. is light, and they do that, you know. And so you were just probably just experiencing that lightness. 
but uh, it would have been interesting to talk to you and find out why you was doing it. Because you may have already gone straight into a past life. Sometimes when I'm regressing people, uh, when I get to the hypnosis bit, you know, they'll say, am I supposed to be wearing this dress? Well, tell me what it is then. You know, and I'm, I'm only halfway through the hypnosis bit. And they're saying, I've got this big dress on. So I just go with it. Okay, let's see what colour is it. You know, are you walking? Are you standing? What are you doing? And then they go straight into it. So maybe, you know, you were like this. Maybe you've got your hands up at the window looking out and thinking. Oh, yeah. It was green because I looked was inside and it was green inside as well. And green outside, green inside made of some sort of material. Yeah. But these great big brilliant plus on up. There was no reason why. Wow, I, what a fantastic yeah. thing. Like the name I got today, uh, Maisie, is not a name that's in my family that I'm acquainted with that I like. That it's I, a rare name as well, isn't it? Yeah. Really rare. I mean, yeah. I've never... Yeah. And Aylesbury is something... I've never been to Aylesbury. <laughs> so it was just, just fantastic. Did you know what um, era it was in? Just near Aylesbury. Yeah. Just near Aylesbury. Wow. I have to get a map. Yeah. And, and have a look. Um, yeah. And the, I got the year as well. Mm. 1618. Just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to read. I wonder what you were doing, mate, of Maisie. I wonder what you were doing there. I was uh, looking after the ducks. Yeah, just... I was a young girl looking after ducks. I've been told I have to look after these ducks all day, you know, with my friends and keep an eye on them. And I have this kind of thing, like a shepherd's crook, but, but longer, and to sort of catch, put around the necks of the ducks and bring them towards me. If I, you know, if they went away, and I had a blue gingham dress on her. <laughs> <laughs> what was the weather like? It was lovely. It was warm and sunny, and the grass was really green with flowers, and it was just lovely. It was just a lovely, lovely day, a lovely place. Fantastic. Well done, Maisie. <laughs> Thank you.